hey guys welcome back so today as you can see things are looking a little different we're definitely in a different perspective here uh i'm having some trouble with my regular camera which is why i also missed um an upload last week so i'm just filming off my phone <laughs> um luckily um the video that i want to do today um, as you've already seen from the title, is just more of an informative one. Now, let me start off by saying I am not claiming that Amazon, the company itself, knows that this is happening or that they are the ones doing this. Um, as far as I know, it's probably most likely just third-party sellers trying to pull this scam. But it's something, I mean, I've already known of not necessarily review scams, but I have known about companies sending out products for free for people to test in order to get reviews, even though they claim you can give just your flat out honest review. More often than not, people tend to give good reviews because they just got something for free and they want to continue getting something for free. So the, I don't know, the last week or so, I've seen quite a few of these messages pop up on social media. First, I saw it. Actually, the first one I saw was about a month ago on Facebook when a friend of mine asked if anybody would like some free pajamas or something. And I didn't really pay too much attention to it at the time. And I'm just like, you know, I, you know, TMI, I sleep nude, so I'm not worried about pajamas. Um, but then more recently on social media, on Instagram, and Facebook alike and all these other, you know, outlets, I've started seeing people ask the same thing. Who wants free wireless headphones? Who wants, uh, you know, free shoes? Who wants free this? Who wants free that? So finally, out of curiosity now, I want to see why so many people are going online offering free stuff. So I finally respond to someone and I'm like, well, how are you getting free stuff? Oh, you know, uh, they'll send you a link. This company here is offering, you know, free skincare if you go on Amazon and order their product. I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, how is it free if I'm going and paying for it? Well, the deal is that you go order their product off the page. You pay for it yourself with your own credit card account or whatever it is that you have linked to Amazon. And once you receive the product, you contact the company and they will reimburse you. The whole purpose of this is so that you get the verified purchaser back purchaser yeah right purchaser that sounds weird <laughs> the whole point is that you get that verified purchaser back purchaser badge on amazon so that when you leave your review you don't have to say that you got the product for free or complimentary from you know xyz company in order for the review you have that verified badge so that you can leave any review you want, whether it be a good review or your honest review. And then the company ends up getting that review. You get reimbursed and therefore you end up with a free product that you get to keep and you get a verified badge in order to leave the review on Amazon. Now, I don't know if you're like me. I hate seeing those free reviews on Amazon because... Uh, as much as people say, oh, I was given the product for free in exchange for my honest review, nine times out of 10, you're going to say something positive because you want to continue receiving the product. So I tend to skip over those and I go for the reviews, or at least I used to go for the reviews that say verified purchaser because I'm thinking to myself, you put your own money into this. You spent your own hard earned money most likely you're going to give me an honest review about the product that tells me whether or not this really works. So that's what I'm shooting for. That's what I'm going for. So to know that, you know, these sellers are basically buying reviews from people just to have that verified badge. Now it makes it, it makes it even that much harder to go through any reviews or anything because now I don't want to, I don't know who to trust anymore where the verified purchaser badge used to mean something to me where, you know, I would specifically look for it so that I can skip over, you know, the reviews that may or may not have been totally honest, where I was feeling like someone buying it would genuinely give a review. I can't even trust those anymore. And then the more I looked into it, the more I realized that a lot of these 
products that are out there a lot of them because the more I started you know looking into it and clicking on links to see where they would take me and to see how many people were actually out there you know on Facebook and Instagram and whatever social media and Twitter and all that saying hey want free this hey want free that this is how you get it this is how I got it that's in turn what it turns out to be and then when I go ahead and ask about this it turns out that I have more than a few friends on my own Facebook who've been doing the same thing as well. And then when I go ahead and ask, well, you know, you always give 100% honest review. Like, are there sometimes you really aren't in love with something, but you kind of just give it a good review anyway? I shouldn't say that I was shocked, but definitely um, surprised by how many people were like, well, yeah, I got it for free. So what do I care if I say I loved it or not? And therein lies the problem is that you know we can no longer trust the reviews anymore and i rely heavily on them because you know there uh, i do a lot of shopping online i i there's a lot of things that i can't find in store that i look for online or even if i can find something in store i still tend to go online and look for reviews online first because i want to get feedback from a good amount of people on their experience with a particular product i want to know is it really worth it you know like um even when i'm going through the reviews and i see that a lot of people love it I might even skip all the love it reviews and just go straight to the people that didn't love it because now that seems more genuine than the people who love it. Like, are the what are the bad reviews? What was so bad about this product that someone felt the need to leave a bad review? I want to know what that person has to say now. That's kind of the only um, workaround I've found now to fake reviews is just kind of looking for the ones that are bad and kind of weeding out how bad it really is. Cause some people will leave a bad review over some nonsense, like, well, the packaging was, was bent up or the box was, you know, ripped at one corner or something, but the product itself was good, but people still feel the need to leave a bad review. So I'll kind of sift through the bad reviews now and just see if people didn't like it, why didn't they like it? Did they not like it for legitimate reasons? Did they not like it because something was actually wrong with the product? Or was it silly reasons that kind of bring down the rating of the product a little bit? Um, but yeah, I, I just thought I would share that because, I, you know, in this day and age, I think everybody does a ton of online shopping now. I think a lot of people heavily rely on reviews and whatnot now. And I just feel like it's, sucks now to feel like even that is being deceiving now where a lot of people look to reviews to kind of get the answers that they need to just know more about the products just like watching video reviews on youtube you know you kind of got to weed out who's telling the truth and who's not you know if you're getting products for free is that the reason you're you're saying you love something it's it's just a, a hot mess now i think i'm pretty sure there are other companies besides amazon that are doing this um, it just so happens to be that, I mean, I'm sorry, again, woo, let me, let me, let me reword that and let me say that properly. I'm sure there are a lot of people doing this on other sites besides Amazon, because I am no way claiming that Amazon themselves, the company are the ones doing this. I am noticing it from third party sellers, but as you well know, a huge, vast majority of products sold on Amazon are by third party sellers. So, um, you know, again, it's a lot harder now to know who's being honest and who's not. Um, but yeah, it was just, I wanted to share that. I wanted to put that out there. Maybe you already knew this. Maybe I'm just behind the times and I didn't already know. Um, and maybe this information is helping somebody. Hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, that's just all I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, hopefully I can get the camera issues worked out pretty soon. Um, and that is the end of this video. If you have any other questions specific to this topic here um, that I might not have answered, then leave your questions about it down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you haven't already, please comment, rate, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You all have an amazing rest of the weekend wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.